Okay guys, so it's Teresa Brainerd and it's Sunday morning and I didn't go to church this morning. My blood pressure's been going up and down and up and down so I figured it'd probably be safe to stay here plus I've got a cold. But anyway, I'm doing really good on my weight loss journey and I can't tell y'all how much I lost yet because it, it keeps going like, well, I'll explain all that later. But anyway, I came on here to get you guys these dolls out and believe it or not i did go grad selling this weekend and i found some more so but i can't make another video just yet i'm trying to get my room somewhat picked up before my husband gets here we change the sheets and do different things and so you know how it is guys especially you moms out there but uh so i have three winners today so it's going to be a different kind of day now remember guys i, I have no problems none whatsoever going out and getting the dolls and and giving them away i love doing that that's just something i love to do i love to share these dolls with people who who can't really get out and do them and uh so these are the three dolls that's going to be given out this morning and uh you have to pay the the shipping on them i don't mind a bit if you 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 have these dolls but you, i can't afford if i could we would but um you know i haven't i just would like for you guys to have some of the dolls but we can't afford to 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 mail them so you guys pay the shipping and if you would like to switch dolls or whatever that's okay with me i have no problem with y'all doing that either so here's the first the first because i just have to put names to them so the first winner is going to be for this little doll is a uh, jessica switcher and this is the little doll that she'll get it has its original clothes and diaper this doll here which is creepy to me and she's looked only her head looks dirty but everything else on her looks really really good she i think she has all of her eyelashes and everything guys so this one is my magical doll world um and the doll dress i'll take that dress off of that doll because i just can't even this so we'll we'll make sure she gets this doll and uh maybe she knows exactly what to do her paint job and stuff is still real good the lips and everything looks like it's well yeah, there's just a little bit of paint on her lips missing, but maybe this person can fix it up. And then the last one is uh, this little doll here, and she still has her original clothes. I'm thinking this is her original clothes and a rib the original ribbon in her hair, and uh, Heavenly Angels Nursery. So these are the three dolls that will be given out this week. I'm going to try my best to go in there and get more dolls this um out of, I keep bringing more in, even though I'm not getting to the, to the bedroom. I wanted, I mean, to the, yeah, to the doll room. Um, what I want to do is show you some of the, I've got some parts painted on some of the Reborn dolls that I'm going to be giving those out to. I've got two Reborns that I'm working on, and I just got the first layer of paint, not a whole lot yet. And uh, I'll bring some of that back in in a little while, and I'll show you all that too. But, let's see if we can um, look at uh, my most pride right now. I know that sounds terrible, but i got to show y'all. these are. There's a million peaches on this tree. Now, I'm, now, I love my peach tree, my plum tree, and all of that. So, here we go. Hi, say Joe. Say hi, Josiah. Say hi, buddy. Hi. Okay, now let me see if I can show you this. Okay, here's, there is so many peaches, look, and, I mean, everywhere, hold on, on all, there's just so many of them, I can't really, look, look at this one, man, it's terrible, you can't see them as well, but these are just so beautiful, I just love it, and then the fig tree is finally, finally getting some little figs on it, well, those things are big, those, those, uh, figs are really, really big, but uh anyway i wanted to show you that and come on joe let's go out to the garden i haven't planted anything we actually took all of the come on bubba come on come on joe uh we've taken all of the uh, look at this little peach i hope you guys can see it that's a two it's gonna grow together i'm sure but you can see there's so many of them just love my peach trees i know i'm crazy ain't i but it's okay come on joe Let's go over here and show them the plum tree. Come on. I did have an apple tree, but one of my 
deer, my little famous Peter and them jumped. Well, my husband actually left the the thing open. That uh, looks like the birds got that down. It was to try to scare them away. Okay, let me see if I can show you one of the little plums if I can get it. Oh, come here. Okay, can you see? All right, let me see if I can point it out to you. Can you? I can't see what I'm doing. Hang on. All right, let's try this. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let's touch it. There it is. These are the little plums. And there's lots of them. See right here? I don't know if you guys can see that. It's hard to see it. But it's going to be full of plums this year. And we've worked a little bit more in the garden. But we haven't planted anything because we went and bought all the little plants and the seedlings, which is here. And I don't think there's anything coming up yet. No. Nothing coming up yet, but uh, what we're doing, it got cold again. If you could see me right now, I'm wrapped up in my little jacket because I got pretty chilly. Come on, Joe. We oh, it got chilly. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to plan it maybe this weekend with the kids. I like to do it with the children because... If I do it with the children. Now this, let me show you this, is really, really funny. Now my husband thinks this is his, this is his way of scaring people away. <laughs> okay. Now he thinks this is really funny. He did this himself, so don't laugh, okay. This is his little, <laughs> he thought that would be really cute in front of our house. So he put it there. <laughs> he put my fishing hat on top. <laughs> Of it and all it is is a piece of wood and it um it's even got cowboy boots on <laughs> it's just a piece of wood that's kind of split in two looks like a Y and he taught okay so this is uh my little grandson's boots okay these are my husband's old shorts this is Josiah's old leash this here is my fishing hat and this here, oh, and this is Ju Junior's little vest underneath it. And this here was something I just found at the garage sale. See if he can, he has no eyes or anything. It's kind of scary, but he's trying to make it look like a, a farm, I guess. <laughs> come on, Joe. Come on, buddy. Okay, so come here, buddy. Come here. Come on. Okay, so this is the fig tree. And you can see the very first little fig right there you can see so this fig tree is taller than our home as you can see there's the top of the house look how much it's a more so this is it's not fully bloomed yet but it's getting there okay guys so Joe it's time to say goodbye say bye Joe all right guys I'll make sure that we get some more uh, dolls on pretty soon. And uh, here's the back of the little guy. When you go up the stairs, this is what you see. <laughs> yeah, we're crazy. <laughs> but uh, all right, guys, we will see you later. And I love you guys. And I hope you guys have a very, very blessed day. And I will get in that doll room and I will start getting those dolls. Uh, painted and I found I went out and I found lots of paint yesterday I cannot believe it um, go online guys and look up the water uh, let's see the acrylic water paints and uh, use them to, to do the dolls I found a great big tall Bratz doll and I, I just can't stand them things but what I want to do is take all the paint off of them and repaint them to look like little girls and that's what I plan on doing I just got so many fats in the fire right well you know what my daughter asked me she said mom what does fats in the fire mean and I had to try to explain to her so I guess I better be trying to explain to some of the younger people on here fats in the fire means you have so many things going on that you can't seem to get it all done <laughs> so Anyway, I have so many things going on. So, anyway, guys, I love you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.